This is No Agenda. Did you read... Uh, you have to. No, you probably haven't. Uh, Playboy did their big interview with Helen Thomas, and uh, now you know Helen Thomas. Of course, uh, she has covered whoa, every president since LBJ. Maybe even no, before. No, I think it was even before that. Who was before LBJ? Kennedy. Oh yeah, no, she followed Kennedy. No, I think you're right. No, who was before Kennedy? Eisenhower. No, I don't think she followed Eisenhower. She's old. She's ninety now. Which, uh, which could uh, maybe why not could be and um, and she, well, it, Kennedy it, for sure and so of course what happened was um, and she is uh, of uh, uh, Arab descent uh, she got caught on camera saying uh, someone said so what do you think of uh, Israel and uh, and she and she just said they should get the hell out of Palestine and this whole interview you have to read this it it is just a very open, phenomenal. It's all the things you're not allowed to say, uh, like uh, the Zionists, because she makes a distinction between the Jews and the Zionists. And uh, these are all the things you're, you cannot say. These words may not pass your lips. And she just says it. She says, well, well, she, she doesn't care. She She's... says, she says they control they. They control the media. They control the banking system. They control everything. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbel- yes. and, she, and she says, "You know, I don't care. So I don't care. I just, I just got to say it." And then, uh, and she goes into uh, Playboy. Then, how do you make the claim that Jews are running the country? And then she says, "Ah, look at the Congress that just came in: Schumann, Latinen, Lettinen." Uh, was something funny here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you begrudge people like Steven Spielberg? Well, she, he goes. Uh, the reporter is also Jewish, which makes it even funnier. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I got to read. I'll read it. We'll read it. it dis- we'll read and discuss. Yeah, yeah. We should read it. Everyone should read this. It's uh, it's it's very very interesting. And and of course, she's really sad because she knows that all the work she did uh, will go down in history as you know she was an anti semite, and she cries actually during uh, during the. Uh, the interview, but she said, you know, she says, "Hey, Obama's a Obama's not a Democrat; he's a Republican." <laughs> you got to be nuts. He said he didn't close Guantanamo. He didn't get out of Iraq or Afghanistan. It's baloney, she says. <laughs> Balo- I love it when 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 someone who's been around for nine decades just comes out and says stuff. She got nothing to lose. They're not going to kill her baloney. anymore. <laughs> it's, ba- it's baloney. Uh, and she, I agree. I think the guy is more of a. He's like you said. He George W. Obama. George Everybody w. was suckered by this hope and change bull crap. <laughs> hope. hope and change. Change what? I'm going to show my support by donating to No Agenda. Imagine all the people who could do that. Oh yeah, that'd be fab. Yeah, on No Agenda. 